Clay from Songtown Studios. I am glad to be back for another week with Hookist. I've had a blast going through these lines. Okay, so let's just take stock of where we are this week. Last week, we came up with the second verse, and then our assignment for this week was to come up with the pre-chorus um, at the end of the second verse, right before we hit that second chorus. You know, come up with a good pivot line to take us a bridge line to take us from that second verse on up and ramp it up into the chorus. So I think we got a great one this week, and I can't wait to reveal it. Okay, guys, let's just go, and I want to sing the second verse so that we can refresh our memory on where we were when we left off last week. Three, four. That lips say goodbye on your greyhound window Heard like hell I won't pretend But we soaked in way more than that West Texas sun Learning our love has come, our love has come and done Here's the pre-chorus music One kiss, I take back now. Okay, so we went right into the chorus. So you got that space. It's not a lot of space, but it's going to get us into the chorus nicely. Let's just talk about a few lines that I did like first. Jay and Sachs had a great line. You taught me how to open up, to feel, not just touch. I thought that was nice um, because it, it was a different idea. It didn't just say, you taught me how to love. You know, it, said, it taught me something different, to feel, not just touch. Um, so it was a, like a deeper thing. Um, I didn't end up going with that because I thought maybe it was just kind of too much. Like, it, you know, pre-choruses can be subtle. It just needs to be the right thing to get you to the chorus. Um, and, but I really liked it. It was like interesting, and I almost went with that. Um, I did notice a lot of people turned in lines like you taught me how to love and that's cool that's the idea of what we're going for um, but i did notice that our chorus has the word love in it and so we're saying love over and over every chorus and then we also have in the second verse the line before learning how lovers come undone so i just wanted to get away from the love thing some people turned in lines about you made me a better man and that's cool, but I felt like it just didn't give enough. You know, it's easy to say, oh, you made me a better man. But I felt like, show me. Don't just tell me a little bit, you know. So that that was kind of why I didn't choose those lines, even though they were, they were to the point. And that's the first step. So you guys did a good job with that. Um, Joe Brow had a line, but if you never try, you can't learn to fly. And I almost went with that because it kind of, once again, showed something that he learned. Um, and one thing that may have stopped me from going with that was like, we got a lot of metaphors with the, you know, the gasoline and hot matches and the summer's on fire. And, you know, we, we've got a lot of these West Texas sun. And so to now throw in flying, I just thought, you know, let's let's make this a little more conversational and less poetic because we got a lot of that stuff. So drum roll, the line I did like, Greg Litt came in with, those times I wouldn't erase, it's who I am today. And the reason I like this line a lot is it did two things. It follows the, we soaked in way more than the Texas sun, learning how lovers come undone, then he says, those times I won't erase. So it referred back to those times in the Texas sun. So it was a good transition line. Plus, it set up the fact that those times I won't erase and there's not a kiss I won't take back. It kind of also set up um, the chorus. But that's not all he did. The last half of the line, it's who I am today, kind of was what I was looking for with you know, my life is better because of you. You know, you're a part of me. So, and, I, and I thought, oh, wow, a part of me, that might even be better. So I tweaked 
Greg's line a little bit. We did a co-write on this. Um, so I came up with times I can't erase. They're a part of who I am today. And I added a few more words on they're a part of who I am today just so I could do a little vocal thing. It's the second pre-chorus, so we want to add a little energy and speed up the rhythm a little bit. And it just kind of felt right. So let's hear how that verse going into the second chorus would sound with that line that Greg came up with. That lipstick goodbye on your greyhound window Hurt like hell, I won't pretend But we soaked in way more than that Wix, Texas sun Learning how love has come, how love has come undone Times I can't erase They're a part of who I am today And there ain't one kiss I'd take back, girl Gasoline in a red hot match, girl Okay, so you see how it kind of ramped up into um, Times I can't erase They're a part of who I am today just kind of go up on that a little bit and add those few, few extra syllables. But good line, Greg. I like it. It really, you know, it really sat in there and did all the jobs I was looking for in that one line. And that's the hard part of songwriting is to, is to come up with, okay, in this line, we need to accomplish this, this, and this. And then come up with a line that has heart and soul and accomplishes all those things. And... Greg, you did it perfect, man. Good job. So, Hookus has asked me, since this is our last week and our song is complete, I'm going to play the song down in a minute for you guys so you can hear the whole thing. But they've asked me to come up with a most valuable hookist. Now, to me, all you guys, you all gave your heart and soul to this. And, you know, you, there's so many people I could pick. So, when I just had to narrow it down to one... Um, I chose Jane Sachs because I felt like her opening line um, just kind of set the mood for the whole tune. And, and it's hard to come up with a great opening line. It's got to be interesting. It's got to make people want to hear more. But it's also got to set the right mood and work for everything that follows it. And her line did that great. It was found that picture from El Paso. You're in the middle of a laugh. And when I read that line... It was like the melody just kind of jumped out. So, bravo to Jane. She gets my MVH award, Most Valuable Hookist. And um, I thought, now Hookist doesn't know I'm going to do this, but I'm just going to do it anyway. I wanted to give um, a Most Improved Award. Um, in sports, they often do this for the team that's made the biggest turnaround or the most improvement and I really thought Kevin Osborne, from where he started out to the lines he started submitting towards the end of this process, he really started getting into the groove of it. And I was really impressed at how far someone can come. And then he submitted a lot of lines trying to get better, trying to get better. And to me, that that's what makes a good songwriter is when you keep pounding it, you keep grinding. And Kevin did a good job of that. So he gets my own personal award for being um, the most improved player of the game. So congrats, Kevin, on that. You know, when I started this process, when Hookus asked me to do this, I really didn't know what to expect. It was, um, you know, I love co-writing. Love it so much I, I wrote a book on it. Um, but I've always been a co-writer. Um, you know, I started out writing songs by myself, and but when I found co-writing, it brought a lot of joy to the process for me, and it, it allowed me to get better quickly. And Jack Timpson was telling me, you got to try out this Hookist um, platform. He said it's a lot of fun. And I have to say, I am like hooked on it. I'm sad it's our last week, guys, because it's been awesome just seeing, I mean, each week to read through hundreds of lines and go, wow, there's this much energy going towards making this a great song. And then when I would find that perfect line, it'd be like, yes. Like, it would be a line that I wouldn't have thought of myself. Um, 
and it would be that perfect line for the spot. And you guys just really, I appreciate all the hard work that you did. Um, and I'm sad that it's over, you know, because I was having such a good time. But um, before I get too sad, let me play the song and just say I wish all of you the best of luck in all your songwriting. Uh, if you ever need anything, just email me, clay at songtown.com, and I'm always here to help songwriters. So you guys take care, and um, let's hear our song in the entirety. Found that picture from El Paso You're in the middle of a lie We're in nothing but that gift shop necklace And I know you know, I know you know the rest A love that wouldn't last went too fast But there ain't one kiss I take back, girl Gasoline and a red eye match, girl Lit the summer on fire for sure, girl, yeah You can't fake the first love feeling Breaks a heart and leaves it beating stronger Yeah, we gave it all we had And one kiss I take back That lipstick goodbye on your greyhound window Hood like hell, I won't pretend But we soaked in way more than our West Texas sun Learning our love has come, how love has come undone The times I can't erase They're a part of who I am today And there ain't one kiss I take back, girl Gasoline and a red eyed match, girl. Lit the summer on fire for sure, girl, yeah. You can't fake that first love feeling. Breaks the heart, believes it beating stronger. Yeah, we gave it all we had. In one kiss that I take back. Can't fake that first love feeling Breaks a heart and leaves it beating stronger Yeah, we gave it all we had Ain't one kiss that I take back No Found that picture from El Paso You're in the middle of the life Cheers, y'all.